to all of you, those here present and those attending this Mass through YouTube or Facebook. And a special welcome to all of our fathers on this Father's Day weekend. We pray that your witness of faith and love continues to shine on you and on your children. For the past several weeks, we have celebrated special feast days, such as all the Sundays of Easter, Trinity Sunday, Corpus Christi, and so on. This weekend, we return to ordinary time for our Sunday Masses. But most of life involves the ordinary elements of life. We do have special days such as weddings or Father's Day, but most days are ordinary, doing the normal activities of work, play, doing laundry, caring for children, basically ordinary stuff. But our faith tells us that God is equally present in our ordinary days, so let's pay attention to the ordinary things we do today and every day. God is in each moment, and when we affirm this in faith, when we open our hearts to discover God, we will find him. Maybe in small ways, but we can find God. Ordinary things and this ordinary time in the church year are very good times. Tonight we are remembering and praying for Richard Wagner, and tomorrow we pray for Bonnie Harlemert. Our sanctuary light will burn this week in honor or in memory of Rita Young. Father has begun celebrating the sacrament of confirmation. I don't mean confirmation. <laughs> confession. <laughs> um, but we're, after talking with both priests, we decided to have it in the St. Anne room. It will be face to face. That it's easier in there than to have to try to somehow sanitize every time someone goes in the confessional in the back. So on weekends, they will be in the St. Anne room. Also, I have put some Living Faith booklets in the back. I've spread them out so you can pick up one and not be touching all the others. I hate to throw them away, so I'll be putting some out each weekend. And now let us rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We come before the Lord as we are, with all the goodness and that which we need forgiveness. So we come before the Lord to seek his blessing and his forgiveness. Lord, you were sent who heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You have come to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty Mighty Father, you, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, 
You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O oh Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you, I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow 
for the many. The word of the Lord. be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to the twelve fear no one nothing is concealed that will not be revealed nor secret that will not be known what I say to you in darkness speak in the light what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Jehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? And yet, not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Today in the first reading, Jeremiah the prophet was having a bad week. As a prophet, he was gifted to preach God's saving word to kings and their subjects. But the people resisted Jeremiah's life-giving message. He was met with verbal and physical attacks. In spite of such circumstances, Jeremiah remains confident of God's help. He waits patiently to see how God will bring about his triumph over detractors. It is comforting to know that even a great prophet like Isaiah had bad days. It gives us some perspective into our own lives. Who among us hasn't wished vengeance on someone who has hurt us? We know we shouldn't, we know it's wrong, but sometimes we find it very hard to resist the pull toward resent, resentment and revenge. Today, Jesus encourages his followers to put their trust in his word and in his friendship for them. He assures them that the Father's love is as tender as that for a sparrow and as deliberate and as knowing as a number of hairs on their head. Strange comparisons, but we are that precious in the sight of God. Both you and I have a job description from Jesus since the day of our baptism. What is that job description? What are we asked to do now that we have said yes to God? God's own love and sacrifice are our model. We are to love and sacrifice for those that we know and we care about. We might love and sacrifice our own Christian character, not being selfish. We are to love and sacrifice as our God, for our God. 
Making sacrifices for God, self and others is always difficult. We need to draw courage and power from the love of Jesus, who suffered and died on the cross for us. We also need to draw courage and power from our own Christian community. Together, we can be one of the most powerful forces for love on the face of the earth. The prophet Jeremiah had far more good days than bad days because he never gave up and neither should we. Lord, teach me how to love everyone, even the people who are making my life difficult. And now we move on to celebrate the Holy Eucharist where we and God are in mind, in body, and in spirit. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, he is born of the Virgin Mary, became man. For our sake, he is crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come before our God now and make our petitions. For the church, that we may live as God's holy people, manifesting God's love and compassion to all who enter our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For the grace to love as God loves, unconditionally and without expectation. For the grace of reconciliation among families, co-workers, neighborhoods, and nations, we pray to the Lord. For all who have experienced abuse, that God will heal their pain and renew their spirits, we pray to the Lord. For all working to curtail the coronavirus, that God will give them in slow the spread of the virus, and protect all who are caring. We pray to the Lord. For all our fathers and father figures who have loved and guided us throughout our lives, those who are living and those who have passed on to eternal life, we pray to the Lord. For Richard Wagner, Bonnie Harlemet, and for the needs we speak to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, we come to you with many needs, but we know that you are all 
And you always grant to us the goodness for which we most need, each in different ways. So we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your good. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For the work that you have to come for us, our spirits to drink. By the mystery of this water and wine, may I come share your Christ with you, Lord. Amen. I will take on this name for my sins. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by the its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his sacred mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven. We sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holiness, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, one supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you are gone. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, all the clergy and people. <clears throat> Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for, from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not then on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity and accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. I am not worthy to share my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, Lord, that we celebrate with constant devotion, may be of redemption through Christ our Lord. Be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. We go in peace now to glorify the Lord by our lives. Walk to the side.